I'm sick and tired of men not being men. I am flipping, stinking, sick, and tired of men not being men. I'm sick and tired of Christian so-called men not being men, not being masculine, and not being Christian, and not being godly, and still calling themselves Christian, still calling themselves godly, still calling themselves manly, but they're nothing but a bunch of flipping, stinking, good-for-nothing liars and idiots and fools and morons who won't own up that they need help. There are two type of guys I try to reach. The guys that are truly confused in our society about what it means to be a man with all this garbage and crap. And I, I, listen, we are a Christian organization. We don't believe in foul language. But I'm telling you, the more I do this and the more men get into our circles, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop some language sometimes just to get you to wake up. I'm not to the point where I can put it out here where it's going to go out to the masses and cause confusion to people. But guys that enter our program, they're going to see even a more passionate man because I'm flipping stinking tired of it. And I'm sick of playing small myself and sick of other guys playing small themselves. Two guys I'm trying to reach. Those that are truly confused in this world. They really are confused. Because of the garbage that is thrown down our throats in this society. All the crap you're getting from all the media sources and from our lying government and from our lying media and, and from the feminist movement and all that all the garbage. And men are really confused. And then I'm looking for men who aren't necessarily confused about what it means to be a man. They just aren't being the man. They're not the husband they should be. They're not the father they should be. They're not the Christian they should be. They're not masculine like they should be. But yet they still consider themselves godly and Christian. They think they got to give up a certain uh, 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 something about their masculinity in, in order to, to be a Christian. And we need Christian men, godly men, powerful men. who are willing to admit that they're not what they should be. And they're tired of losing their family. They're tired of no intimacy with their wife. They're tired of no understanding with their kids. Their kids don't show them respect. Oh, they might put on a happy smile and go play church to church. But their life's a lie. Your life's a lie, man. And, and, and here's what I'm sick and tired of, of, of seeing. My stuff ain't all that popular as far as all the views. And I don't give a flipping rat's butt whether I get a bunch of views or not. I don't care if I get a thousand views or if I get a million views. I flipping stinking don't care about your views. I don't care about your likes. I care about that one man, that two men five to ten men who will own it and step up. You ain't doing me any good by liking my stuff, and you ain't doing yourself any good by liking your stuff. You're, you're staying small, you're lying to yourself, and you need help. Here's one thing that real men do. When they, they, they get to the end of themselves and they know, they know something's wrong, but here's what everybody does, they don't do nothing. They don't do anything. That was me for years. Years I lived like that. 
and it cost me everything. But they're not willing to invest in themselves. They're not willing to invest time, and they're not willing to invest money. They think, well, I'll get what I can get from the church. I'll get what I can get from reading my Bible. Quit lying to yourself, man. For one, you're probably not reading your Bible the way that you should, and you're not taking church as seriously as you should. You're lying to yourself. Are you finally at the end of yourself where you can say, mm, I'm done. I'm going to invest in faithful man coaching. I'm going to invest in myself. I like what this man's putting out here, and I'm going to invest. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice some time, and I'm going to sacrifice some money, and I'm going to get some transformation in my life. And through that transformation, I'm going to become a better man. I'm going to become the man I'm supposed to be. I'm going to become the man God called me to be. I'm going to step into his calling in my life, and he's going to make me a better man. He's going to make me a better father. He's going to make me a better husband. He's going to make me more godly. I'm going to be a warrior. I'm going to be dangerous. I'm not going to be a couch potato. I'm going to take care of this body. I'm going to take care of my mind. I'm going to take care of my money. I'm going to take care of my wife. I'm going to take care of my kids, and I'm tired of playing games. Is that you? Don't flip and stinking like this video. Don't give me a thumbs up. Don't tell me how encouraging I am to you. Commit. Say in the comments, you're ready. Text me, 970-697-0232. We're ready to move forward. We want to move forward. We'll get you a questionnaire. We'll get the ball rolling. We'll see where you are. We'll see where program works for you. We'll get you going towards some transformation. And for those local, I'm in Rifle, Colorado. We're starting a church, a ministry, faithful man. And we're looking for men who aren't babies, but who are willing to submit. See, I don't want to have a Bible study where every, everybody gets to declare their beliefs and gets to say what they think. I'm looking for men who know they need help and they can sit down, and they can shut up, and they can listen and get some help in a ministry, Bible study, church type setting that there's no cost to. But I've had some of you guys, you've liked and called and whatnot, but nobody follows through. Because y'all are chicken, scared, lazy, whatever. And while you're doing that, your wife and children suffer, and society suffers. So pull your head out your butt. And join me in our Bible study, our, our church ministry was starting out here in Rifle, that you are interested in some way. And if through the ministry we do, you decide you want some coaching, we'll go there. If, you, if you're interested in the coaching, but you want to show up to our Bible study, go. One's completely free, the other's you paid for. we got different tiers. But are you ready to make at least one step forward? Faithful man's here for you. God has brought me through some things, and he told me how to teach this stuff to you. I've been through the fire, still going through the fire. He's got some things that he put on me to help you. And you've seen this, but you won't commit. Ain't you tired? Ain't you tired? Text 970-697-0232. Send me your email. Send me your number. Something. And let's get moving forward, because this world... This country, this state that you're living in, the city that you're living in, your church and your family need you to man up. Until we meet again, keep your eyes on him.